Hey, what's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Z Fold 6 after I've been using it for about, you know, um, a little over three months right now. So, um, you know, this is the case that I usually put on here. I do have like an S Pen case that I use as well. Um, so I do, you know, use several different cases when I'm using this device. So, you know, um, I just want to throw that out there. But yeah for the most part this phone is going to work very well you can use it with the s pen also so you can you know get that extra you know um use um productivity like when you're using it especially if you're the type of person who likes to take notes like me i definitely like taking notes with the s pen i definitely think it comes in handy like whenever i'm using it so you could either use this one this is the slim you know version obviously from last year so you you have that option and then you can use the uh the you know basically the other uh you know fold edition pen which i have in another room but yeah both of both of those are going to perform very well and it's going to feel very accurate whenever you're um basically you know writing on the screen or doing anything so um i think it's going to be cool because you get that pressure sensitivity when you're drawing so it's like really good for artists as well if you want to be creative but if you're you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through make sure you stay you know locked into the end of the video um but if you're already a part of the crew so so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Z Fold 6 after about three months. Um, I'm gonna take the case off of here and show you guys you know, what it looks like. This is actually a really nice case too. It's that one piece design. And since I've been using it, just so you know, the only thing that's happened is like the um, side right here, gets like a little bit shiny on the corners due to like, you know, like whenever it hits a surface, it's gonna, have that little shiny part like kind of exposed so just want to mention that but overall yeah the the you know case has been holding up very well as far as the phone though um yeah everybody's been loving the outer display i haven't really heard anybody who said anything bad about the outer display maybe like one or two people but for the most part no one said anything bad about the outer display and I don't have any issues with the outer display either. It's got that facial recognition. So you can see that works like immediately. And then, you know, this phone does get really bright. So I just want to mention that the only thing I don't like is it does rock on the table. So when you're using it, it's got this like rock to it, which is a little bit annoying um, to be honest, because whenever you're doing anything, you 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 when you want to like use it on a flat surface like this it's gonna rock so it's gonna kind of just like you know you're gonna feel that every time you you touch it but i don't have any issues with it like it doesn't it doesn't kill the experience and everything it's still a solid experience you're getting that 120 hertz refresh rate on the front so yeah like i haven't heard anybody complain about you know using the outer display um, you know, I definitely think the only thing that I do complain about is the fact that we can't use the S Pen yet um, on the outer display. That's like the only complaint I have about the outer display at all. So, yeah, I, I do like the fact that you can get shortcuts on here. You can also, you know, uh, multitask. So you could put pop up window or split screen and it allows you to choose between the two. So now you got everything going on on the cover display and the cover display feels really nice it looks good too like when i'm put, when i'm using it it feels really smooth on here so it's actually a really nice experience um, when i'm using this phone so i definitely think as far as the overall multitasking goes on here it's going to be really solid because you have that sidebar that you can play around with you also have a lot of different apps that you can you know just mess around with Another thing is this phone has, does, is, has the AI, which is really crazy. And um, one of the things that I've been using a lot lately is the Spanish um, to English on the translation app. If you go right here on the drop down right here, it has translation or actually interpreter. And right here, 
I've been using this layout so you can actually switch the language. I used French and I use Spanish so far. And like, it's basically like having a real conversation with somebody in another language. So that's going to be very helpful when you want to like communicate with somebody, but you have that barrier. This like actually removes that barrier. So I definitely like that, that feature that they added. It's definitely going to be pretty solid. So yeah, the um, overall sound quality and the speakers on here is really solid. Um, it has good widgets, good colors, good uh, customization. It probably has the best customization when it comes to what you can do with this thing. And so, yeah, when you open it up, that's when it gets kind of funky because that's when you're getting this large display that you can just play around with. And this is going to be really good when it comes to gaming, um, especially watching movies as well. And just um, also it enhances the ability for you to, um, you know, do stuff. So basically you can use this like an e-reader as well. You could open up, you know, Kindle. And if you open up Kindle on here is basically going to be looking really good so you know you get your your books right here and you know everything is going to be um, very clean as far as the overall book style obviously you can put it in tent mode when you're reading and you can still enjoy your books just like that so i definitely think that's going to be a solid way to actually communicate or not communicate but like interact with this thing and so, yeah, you can put it when you're when it's on a flat surface, you can really enjoy the screen like this be, um, it being that it's open now or if it's in the tent mode, you can just fold it and you can enjoy that, too. So, yeah, it gives you multiple different options to mess around with more multiple orientations as well. So you can use it just like this, too. So obviously, I've been really enjoying this phone after about three months now um it when it comes to gaming this thing is really solid especially when you play like xbox game pass so if you don't know about xbox game pass it's uh basically i think it's 20 dollars a month if you get the one where it gives you like games and stuff like that but if i go into the game um hub right here that's where it's going to show like all the games that I have downloaded on here. So at the bottom, it'll show all the games I have downloaded. And then basically, you know, it's gonna be a all in one hub for your game space. So you can, you know, you know, uh, um, play around with it and kind of get uh, familiar with all your games and stuff like that right there. So, yeah, I definitely want to jump into some gaming right now so I could kind of show you how this thing will work. You, you can see like the colors are really nice on here. I'm going to, um, hold on. I'm going to put the, uh, oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. But you can see it just runs very well when it comes to the graphics and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with this phone is that you can use it for gaming and you get that full, um, display to play around with. And obviously you can see the crease right there at certain angles. So, but obviously when you're looking face down at it, you can't see that crease. So, you know, it's going to be, um, you know, pretty user friendly. And then obviously you do get the S pen right here that I wanted to talk about. So it says stream lost. Okay. So yeah, the other thing is that you do get like an S pen and you get the slim one. And then you also get the, you know, wider one, which is going to be this guy right here. So this is the one that I use for the outer display. And then I use this one for the, um, you know, the inner, inner display, cause it has like the real pen size to it. So it's going to feel just like a real pen. And obviously you can do sketching on here. I did do a sketch on this thing and I, and I was sketching and it came out really good. I don't know if you could see that 
but um, the sketch was actually pretty detailed on here. So I definitely like this thing for sketching. It's going to be, um, you know, a good device if you're the type of person who likes to draw or take notes. I definitely take a lot of notes on, on this app right here. So they give you like the ability to basically use this thing like a tablet. And then, you know, obviously it's got that S Pen capability, which is going to enhance the experience even more. So yeah, um, as far as the cameras, I want to show you some samples of that right now. I'll show you some pictures and some video. So make sure you stay locked into the end of the video. You know, hit the like button. So I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to type, I'm still here. Um, so um, we can get this video out to more people and help boost the engagement. But okay, let me know what you guys think about the images and pictures that I took on this device. Um, other than that, I just got an, a software update on here the other day. And that software update was actually for, let me show you. I think it was for the October or whatever. Yeah, October 2024, October 1st. So you can see right here, this is the October 1st uh, security patch right there. It's going to say that it's not going to zoom in, but yeah, you can see that right there. So yeah, other than that, I really enjoy using this device. Like I definitely think it's worth the, the money because you're getting all the ex features and the experience. You, you could even pair it with a bunch of accessories. Um, it, uh, you can get the Galaxy Buds or any other Buds will work with it. Also, any other smartwatch will work with it. So I have my smartwatch paired with along with it. So the whole Android ecosystem is pretty user friendly for, you know, um, there's thousands of Androids, obviously, to choose from. But I definitely think that the Android ecosystem is starting to get a little bit more refined. And so, yeah, it's definitely going to be nice overall when it comes to using this device. Um, with the outer or the inner display, it just it's really nice. And yeah, 90% um, of the time I do use a case on here. As far as battery life goes, you can see I'm at 38% right now. And so if I go into my battery health on my device, um, I can go right down here and I can show you that basically just by going into device care and battery. I don't think I charged it at all today. Yeah, it's been a full day of use on here. So let me show you that real quick. and kind of get closer right here. All right, so I don't know if the glare is gonna get in the way, but let me move that a little bit further up. Okay, cool. Let's go into charging view, view details. And then it says right here that uh, basically I had Screen off time, 57%. Screen on time, 57 minutes. That's That doesn't seem accurate. Oh, that's because yesterday. That's why. All right, so we're in the next day, so that's why it's saying that. But as far as the overall battery um, from yesterday, I got one hour and 30 minutes screen on time, and I used the battery down to 50%. And I wasn't really using it that much. That's what this shows. So it does show that it does have good standby time. That's what this is showing right here. So this phone will be uh, pretty good for battery. It will get you through the whole day. I definitely think that um, you should be good when it comes to that. But you can see the slim design. It feels a lot more lightweight than last year's phone. And yeah, the cameras are going to be similar to last year's cameras as well. I also like the, um, you know, the materials on here. So the back is a nice smooth finish. Um, it's definitely metal. Like it's like, you could definitely feel the material is really solid on there. Everything is about it. It just definitely feels like a piece of jewelry or some, you know, some type of, um, you know, um, 
valued you know um, possession it doesn't feel cheap so yeah when people see this they're definitely gonna look at it and be like oh yeah what's that so and i like this color this color is very it's like a real silver color like if you think of silver this is exactly what you think of i think they got this color perfect when it comes to the silver on here so yeah i really love this color and it also does have like this kind of undertone to it which is almost like um gives you like an undertone i don't know like it kind of it kind of blends into other colors or something like that like so it kind of is like a purple undertone i kind of see to it but yeah let me know what you guys think about this thing i definitely think after three months it's been pretty solid when it's come to the overall um use on here but i'm gonna check you guys later i'm gonna get right back with you i also like the always on display and obviously this device is gonna have so many features that i didn't mention but I'm, i'll do that in another video but make sure you guys stay locked in for more videos just like this and if you're um if you're still here just type down below. i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and i'll hit you back i'll check you guys later Peace. Later.